came to my head and shit like, damn, why the fuck is um, I'm doing all this shit and, and like, I ain't get a quarter, a damn, my fucking send shit to my baby. Niggas was trying to fuck on my baby mama, all types of shit. They thought I was gone, so. I'm like, man, I ain't gonna lie, I pray to God and just ask for a different, I asked God to get me from under that shit, though, I ain't gonna lie, and shit, and I don't even know how I came up with this ass shaking music, kids songs, like, all this shit is put into my head. Caught that vision. For real, it just happened, man, and right now, like, I ain't gonna lie, I'm like, I'm going crazy and shit, like, everything doing numbers, I ain't gotta make no diss song, I'm doing songs from every side and shit, Mexicans, Latin Kings, whatever. I'm doing songs where everybody love me because I inspire a lot of niggas' kids. I ain't had ops hit me up and say they kids love my music and shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So when I heard that, I knew it was growth. Like, damn, you just you just changed somebody else. Like, you made another nigga think, like, I ain't got to do that shit. Or I ain't got to diss this nigga just to get on. So I'm just trying to change a little bit of something. I'm not trying to be no Malcolm X ass nigga <laughs> or, or Martin Luther King either, you know, tell me, because I'm not one of them. <laughs> You know what, well, I'm going to be honest with you, though. I think you one of the guys that, you know, you made people recognize you, Damon. Oh, that's, that's fine. That's some real shit. I think you made them. You just worked and you made them and you put that shit there and you made them recognize you in this music shit. Um, Papa Big Boss. <laughs> I think that's dope, bro. I, you want to know what? I don't think I show enough love to Papa Big Boss and I don't think enough platforms show enough love to Papa Big but you got to understand, though, that, you know, sometimes people be slow to shit. You right. Know? I think I'm a little slow to that. Because when I look at it, that looks like that's supposed to be bigger than what it is. Yeah, um, I just came out of nowhere, but it's because my pops, he was um, he was battling some shit. So I just kind of wanted to, like, imitate in some type of way. Like, I don't even know how that shit came about, but it, it worked. And he it made him laugh every time. So I feel like if mm -hmm. I keep doing it. And they wanted me to send them them videos. It was putting smiles on their face, like nothing happened. But you know, he recently he passed, so uh, I've been like slowing I'm down and shit. Sense. Yeah, I, I've been slowing down, but it still made me hungry up. You know what I'm saying? Like, it had me in some dark clouds and shit. You know what I'm saying? But like, it still made me like, what the fuck is you doing? Like, nigga, ain't no stopping. I don't know. But Papa Big Boss, yeah, he he funny as fuck. <laughs> I think that's dope, bro. And the ABC song, I think that's dope. I don't even think my son will recognize that you, man, but the ABC Cause song. Because guess who it is? It's Papa Big Boss. Yeah, that is. A lot crazy. of kids, a lot of parents would be like, you know what it is? They'd be like, uh-uh. But they'd be, oh, my grandma, I went to, um, went to uh, one of the guys' career, man, and they was playing on the TV. And they like, you know what it is? That's, that's, that's Big Boss they want. And then a little boy would be like, I said, yeah, I know it's the grandpa. It's not, it's not me. It's yeah. the grandpa. So yeah. the grandpa was to cover up this. So once I made the ABC song, I had to cover up all this. I didn't want to make an ABC song with tattoos all on my face and shit. So that's probably another reason why uh, came with Papa. Like, you know what? You got to put a dress up as somebody. You know what I'm saying? Don't just try to come up like that. The motherfucker like, ain't finna listen to this game thing and shit. Because they'll see a picture and, you know, motherfucker stereotype now. So that's why I came to grandpa. Maybe like, okay, make it a little funny, they'll probably still listen to it, so. All right. I got a couple more questions. I ain't gonna hold you too long, but I do got a couple more questions. I recall you had a clothing line. Was that the two key clothing line? Well, um, Big Game? Uh, yeah, something. Yeah, like a little oh, right there. The, that. You know what I'm saying? That's me. <laughs> what you want Ball like two. Model, ball like, right. Ball like two. Okay. Who is that? Because in this drill culture, people want to know those names that we hear a lot. And you said that name a lot in the drill culture. All right, so a lot of people think I'm saying Tuka. Not, I'm saying Tuki. Tuki was my baby brother got killed. Um, college kid posted about him and that. He was all on the news, Spike Lee and all that shit. So he was um, he was playing basketball and everything. There's another person that got killed while I was in the studio. Um, he was walking with another guy over east. And some guys targeted that guy, the guy that he was walking with, ended up shooting him in the chest. He was only 17. So that next week he was going on prom. He was supposed to graduate. All this shit was happening. He got um, accepted to Michigan University to play basketball. So a lot of shit made me cold hard and shit. You know what I'm saying? So I'd be snapping in, snapping out, snapping in, snapping out. But he died. Um, he wasn't even no game banging shit, bro. Like the nigga was a skateboard and playing basketball. So that shit kind of made me just damn. He went to Urban Prep, so all the people in Urban Prep know him. They had a, a big ass ceremony with his picture right there. Like, mm. we big for him. That's so it right. touched a lot of souls because a lot of people, innocent motherfuckers, dying just by guilty by association. Yeah. I had to ask you that, you know, because I've been hearing that name come out of your mouth for a while. You've been I tried to stop saying it, though. 
I, I be I, I try to say like on the guys or some shit like I don't give a fuck about that shit, but <laughs> I try to say oh too because somebody that tried to make me mad say man fuck that and then I had to like flip off and shit because the emotional side to get come out like damn this man gone and I'm letting this man they piss on this man and shit but it's all in the head and shit like I learned to control that shit like we got to learn to accept criticism or learn to accept these fans will say whatever the fuck they want they don't even know who the fuck we is so to all you rappers that just letting these fans get in y'all head stop. This shit ain't real. This shit is the internet, for real. Street shit, street shit. You see a motherfucker, you know. But these motherfuckers be from out of town. They be from motherfucking Country Club Hill. I don't pay none of these niggas no matter. If you ain't in the street streets, I'm not worried about you, for real. I want to ask you now, you know, um, how did you link with Bodio? Man, I always like be, a lot of I always people want to link with him for the management. How would you, you know, you got to have some energy for him to want to fuck with you. Yeah, but you know, I had the little booty mountain song and shit. Um, but first he was fucking with Hitter, you know, Hitter, um, Hitter, um, my little cousin is Hitter's brother. So I got a, a little cousin named King Younger. He on the rise right now too. So he going crazy. He trending and shit. But I've been, you know what I'm saying? I've been, man, Hitter, we've been knowing each other since Hermitage. Lizzie, all of all us, we was growing up and shit. From the little 16 on up and shit. Um, I think he was managing Hitter first or whatever. And um, I had the little booty matter song. And then, damn, I ain't gonna lie, I don't really know how this shit went. I think I ended up, we ended up talking through the inbox. And I had went down to link with them. Because they were saying the song was go um, was go, was a go and shit. The little booty matter song. Because, you know, the song was going everywhere. Yeah, you know, the radios booty. and yeah, shit. So, I see Corey the Raiden yeah. responding to you and shit. So everybody was on the song and shit. And then, like, it was a lot of offers and shit coming. They know the song was going to blow up and shit. It was a lot of people coming in. Um, he the only one that um wasn't like making me feel like he was trying to take my money or some shit. Like a lot of niggas was offering money, but it wasn't like what you thinking it is. You know what I'm saying? But he came and the way he was coming and shit. Like I, I ain't gonna lie, I swear to God, like I ain't really like know who he was and shit. Like, like I don't pay attention to other people and shit, cause like I'm myself. But once he got um, involved with him and shit. Um, I started listening to him, seeing he was with Bump and all them and shit. I'm like, all right, okay, dog, this one of the OGs and shit. Then I started listening to him with eating apples and shit. I'm like, oh hell yeah. Right. So why would I go with a why would I go with some niggas that look up to him? You know what I'm saying? Why would I go with some niggas that look up to the leader? You know what I'm saying? Right. So I went with the leader that was making sense. You know what I'm saying? He ever since I've been with this man, bro, he ain't take bro, I made thousands. Nigga ain't take a dollar. He ain't take shit from me. On my shows I get booked for, he don't take shit. He come there and make sure I'm safe. He makes sure go home when I'm on the internet doing all that shit you just said. He make sure I delete all that shit. Like, uh, uh-uh, uh, don't, uh, don't do that shit. Like, so that's one thing I can say. Um, the nigga keeping my phone on a on a, on a positive road. Right. Like, you got a lot to lose and shit. But that's how I think we met each other and shit. The little little, little booty mountain song. And then since then we've been on the road. I've been with them for two years now. Mm. Hell yeah. That's what's up. I think y'all gonna climb. I think y'all got a good vibe. I think that shit gonna work, bro. You know. Oh, we got some big shit coming, man. Like, people don't even know. <laughs> Most definitely. Well, uh, anything new? Uh, I see you got the depression record out. Yeah, now nah, that, that, that song was, um, I was adopted. So I already told you I was adopted since I was like three. Coming on up to 16, I ran away because I was getting beat on and shit. So that song is to save niggas that's going through. You know, recently, who, who was that guy? Lil Ron, Lil Ron committed suicide. Yeah. Now, people don't know. Depression is real. Like, it's a, when I say demons, it's like your past and shit. It's eating you up, like the shit that you went through, or you losing the next person and all that shit. That's why I, when I be, the song is basically a, to save the next person that's going through some shit, but scared to talk to the next person. So I wasn't, I wasn't like trying to down talk people in the video. I was telling motherfuckers how I went through what I went through and still survived. Like I'm here now. My kids motivated me. Part two finna drop. I'm editing I'm right part two too. Bro, I got so much shit. Oh, I think that's dope, bro. Yeah. I got so much shit. So much stories. And, and we already at... That shit hard. Them demons be out in my head. It's the truth, that though, bro. <laughs> we had 9,000 views already. So yeah. y'all go check it out that on YouTube. Go check that out, man. What is it called again? It's on Big Balls Demo Adopted. Adopted. So. That shit hard. And I'm gonna tell you what else I like about it. Uh, Damn, before we get off. And I got to tell you another thing. You didn't just stand in front of the camera with 20 guys and just rap. You yeah, actually had, like, my son. acting and, 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 and people. That's my son. Yeah. One take, he crying and all that shit. That He's was an dope. <laughs> I, it ain't a billboard and that shit. That shit was dope, you know? Hell yeah. I think that. Is that important to have, like, a, a reason to the music video? Just standing in front of a house with 20 guys that's done? No, because y'all targets. But the, 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 
these people want to see what you can do, how creative you can be. You know, so right. look at Juice World and them. Look at Juice World, all his videos. And that's what inspired me to do the Adopted song. Like, I want to go talk about that shit. Like, right. you know, street niggas ain't finna talk about all that soft ass shit, but what rapper you know, and that's B100, that's why I say I'm the GOAT. I done did the ass shaking song, drill song, nigga switched over to kids song. Now I'm over here with this singing shit. Mm -hmm. Nigga, why rapper doing that? <laughs> I did everything. I yeah. did everything. That's why I say I'm the fucking goat because I did everything. And I and I didn't and look, the fans still came to support me. They didn't say, oh no, fuck that. We finna follow this nigga. Nigga, I'm at twelve thousand two hundred followers now. Mm -hmm. My shit just shot the fuck up. Just cause I did something different. I went a whole nother lane. So right. it's it, it your music is every, your videos is everything. You have to have a message in your videos because I'm, you can have a raw ass song and then you just doing basic shit. I'm, I'm probably just gonna go listen to the song on Spotify or something. I'm not gonna really watch your video no more. You're not mm -hmm. gonna get no YouTube views. If you got some shit that's going on in there that's making motherfuckers tear up and shit, or, or like, damn, they turning the fuck up. You know right. what I'm saying? It's not all about the guns and shit, because nobody can let their kids watch that shit. Yeah. So, think about the kids. The kids, you'll win. If a kid pick up the phone and go to that motherfucker on YouTube, you're like, oh, yeah, I got something. That's Keep true. that in mind. I just gave y'all a tip. I don't even get jewels like that. Uh -huh. The kids. If the kids moving in here, you got to hit. That's real <laughs> shit. Uh, anything new coming up besides that? Any new projects that people look forward to? Damn, I got some shit with um, I got some shit with Woody Kid, uh -huh. um, Young Buck. <laughs> uh -huh. uh, I was talking to Fifty Cent, but we don't want to talk about too much of that. Um, I got some shit with Hitter. Um, shout out my whole RTS team, Caps. Shout out everybody. Shout out Red. He been by my side and shit. Um, make sure I'm straight and all the little interviews and all. He keeping shit. Um, keeping me focused and shit. You know what I'm saying, like. Even though like he a street nigga here, tell me like, uh uh, you can't, you can't do that shit, bro. You got a lot to lose, and like, cause like I'll be finna blank out, like, what the fuck they just say? You know what I'm saying? He be like, uh uh, like this nigga is like, you know what I'm saying? Like, from a nigga that's that's hot, telling a nigga to cool off, that's hot. I'm like, how the fuck is this nigga telling me something? He hot. So, I think it's the people around me, bro, that that just hear me become who I am now. Cause like I'll listen to them, like they older than me, so they know. <laughs> But yeah, um, shit, just got, we got a lot of songs and shit coming out, um, we got a little TV show, I'm gonna be shooting for the papa. Mm. Yeah, that shit coming this year, um. Uh, no, I think that's a smart route to, to take. I got some rappers in that shit, um, Top Shot, I done talked to everybody, um. Shout out Top Shot. I done talked to a lot of rappers that want to play and help me get the shit together and shit, so. Mm. Shout out my cameraman, Lord Rio, shout out my engineer, Mixer. Everybody's been in my core and shit, man. Like oh, and uh, shout out to you. You're doing a good job. Proud of you. You keep going, and you ain't scared to meet up with no rappers, so. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of niggas scared, because they know what we do, but. It takes, a, it takes a motherfucking champion to do that shit, like a legend. Let's say that, because especially, you know what I'm saying? You coming all the way from wherever you coming from, and you linking with motherfuckers that, that's high head. You, you link, I saw a lot of spicy niggas on your shit. So. But you not being scared to ask them questions to them and, and not know their reaction. That's a real nigga shit, though. Uh, for real. So, uh, shout out to you. But well, fuck bro. all them other police ass bloggers. Because I ain't doing no interviews with y'all. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm, bro. Uh, the people want to get out with you, Damo. Uh, where they going to find you at? Somebody think you're dope as hell. They want to give you a bag of money just because they think you're cool, man. Where they going to find you at? You can find me on Instagram, Big Boss Damo. So it's B I G B O S S D A M O. They know who to go. Just like that. <laughs> what about YouTube? Got YouTube channel they can subscribe yeah, to? Yeah, my own YouTube channel, Big Balls Demo. Everything is Big Balls Demo. Okay. You motherfuckers on TikTok, Big Balls Demo. I'm on all that shit. Okay, and that new music you got that you're going to be driving pretty soon, going to be on that new YouTube channel, so they need to subscribe to that YouTube channel. Yeah, okay. sir. All the videos is on that shit. Okay. I'm on Spotify, Apple Music, all my shit copyrighted. Everything is everything. Okay. Just find me on your Instagram, and you can go from there. If you want to feature shit, hit up Bodil, or however you want to do that shit, you want to follow back because you support, you want me to support your music, I'm going to follow you back. We ain't got no Hollywood niggas over there. Okay. Like and what you said the Instagram is again? That's Big Balls Demo. And that YouTube channel? Big Balls Demo. Okay, last thing I want to ask you, Demo, you're leaving up out of here. An upcoming artist spots you. They never dropped a song today, never did none rap related, anything that's key into the rap game, but they made the decision today that they want to be a rapper. They want some advice. Go to school. <laughs> Stop trying to be a rapper. There's too many rappers. <laughs> like, there's more shit out here to do than do that shit. Like, nigga, it's no, you're not really getting money unless you know the business. I'm going to just tell you that right now. So a lot of niggas just rapping to be rapping. A lot of niggas rapping to be spending and losing fucking money because niggas spending so much money on videos and getting shit back. They don't have any music on Spotify. Go be a basketball player. 
Uh, we'll fucking dance or something. I ain't gonna lie. Just don't, don't. If you want to be a rapper, don't do it. Sorry. You want to dance, go on TikTok. They going viral on that motherfucker. So <laughs> do some different shit though. But this rap shit, you gonna get caught up in the street shit. Uh, For real. That's tough. That's like that. Uh, I appreciate the love, bro. Shout out Truth Teller though. Uh, it's the homie Truth Teller, the street reporter. Blit, 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 blit. Love, bro. That was classic, <laughs> Damon.